This is the Penman Collection Basington Eco Multifuel Stove, and it's a proper all cast iron traditional gem. Hi, I'm Gabriel. My family have always done stoves. We've had the biggest stove companies and the smallest. I've been the warehouseman, the delivery boy, the fitter, the salesman, the managing director, and now I'm... No longer a managing director. <laughs> they make two versions of the Basington Eco, this one and a compact version as well. They do a baseline which looks like this and a skirted design which looks like this. Um, all three of the different versions, so this one, the baseline and the, and the sort of skirted design, they do all of those in the enamel as well. And then they have a lock store version on top. I believe the compact is just as it comes like this, but the smaller version. They're all cast iron, they're all multi-fuel with this big, wide, clean look. Okay, let's light it. This being a multi-fuel stove, it is... I like that that door opens all the way. Um, uh, this being a multi-fuel stove, it's easy to light, um, which is great for its target audience, because this is for sort of evenings and weekends. Um, but uh, same, same story, I always light stoves the same. A few logs on the bottom. Uh, and then I chuck some kimchi in. Because it's multi fuel, I fully open this here, fully open this here, and I can shut the door straight away. I had to play around with the um, uh, kindling a little bit, but it's an easy stove to light. It was up to temperature in a quarter of an hour, and uh, now I just Flip this across to closed and close this one down a bit. We're up and ready to go. Like almost everything nowadays, it's eco design and DEFRA approved. What isn't completely standard is it runs as high as 84% efficiency, which is surprisingly high. Um, it also stays beautifully clean and I haven't had the sort of misting issue which you get with some high efficiency stoves. So this earns its 9 out of 10 rating. It didn't get 10 simply because I couldn't actually run it overnight to see whether it still was clean after overnight use. Um, but it's a very clean stove. It's pretty good from the point of view of smoke coming out. Obviously, I'm loading it at a very unideal time because it's still full of fuel. Um, there was a little bit, but it's, it's generally pretty good. And obviously, ordinarily, you wouldn't load it when it's that full. Um, when it's burned down, there's absolutely nothing. Um, it came with one glove, which um, I'm not sure why it was one. Maybe that was a mistake. Um, maybe it's normally two, but either way, I got one glove. <laughs> um, it's the wrong one with for you being left-handed, isn't it? Oh, it's, yeah, but it, it's, it, it, it does what it does. Um, the thing that I was impressed by um, is its tool. Now, most little cast iron tools that you get, or they're like, they're really cheap. They're sort of you have to be almost apologetic about the tool because it looks like it was made by a six-year-old. But this is a proper, solid cast iron tool that, you know, looks sort of interesting. It just, it feels solid, it's proper. Obviously, it being a full cast iron stove, all of these controls get hot. Um, so, you know, you've got, I mean, I flick that across with this. I've even done that which I'm sure you're not supposed to. Um, you're supposed to use the glove, but either way it works. And this ends for the ash pan. It just was a nice tool, so I thought it was worth mentioning. Um, in terms of controllability, we'll go from fully open, as we are now, 
um, to fully close down. And that's with the DEFRA kit installed, so it responds really well. It's not sort of super controllable, designed for running all day or night, but it's definitely good enough. We test fuel economy by getting the stove up to operating temperature and then burning a single net of kiln dried logs on it. This one ran for seven to nine hours during our testing, so it did pretty well, it wasn't spectacular, but it was certainly good enough. I mean, anything running at 84% efficiency is not wasting any fuel, um, but it's obviously a stove that's more focused on evening and weekend use as opposed to all day or night. Well, the handles get a little bit hot. The grate is uh, a little bit of a pain uh, to use and it's not that effective at shaking ash down. Um, it does drop ash a little bit out the front as well. And it's definitely not gonna set any records from a function point of view because it's not focused on sort of all day or night use. But as I say, that's not what it was designed for. The stove is beautifully clean on the glass, and in terms of CO and particulates, it's also top of the range. As a backup and focal point, I really like it. The look is classical, timeless, and the way it burns is lovely. It's easy to light, and as I've mentioned, if you want a classical design, this stove is a great option. If you're looking for a stove to heat one room for the evenings and weekends and you like the look of it, then you've got to put it on your viewing list to go and see. Maybe it's just that it suits my house, but I'm really quite taken with it. I think it looks really lovely. I, I love it. Yeah. I, I, yeah, it just, as I say, it could be in part because of my house, but I think both of us just love it.